using placeholders in WP data tables. Placeholders uh, is a way of, of making your MySQL based tables more flexible and it's a way uh, of making one table suitable for many pages so instead of creating many different WP data tables you can choose just you can use just one and apply placeholders to it so uh, placeholders as we defined in our documentation they can be understood as search and replace templates so these are the values that uh, will be replaced with some actual values at the execu execution time so this is used usually for MySQL queries. Right now we have three types of placeholders. First one is current user ID. Second one are three variable placeholders, var1, var2, and var3. And third one is WPDB. So this placeholder will be replaced with the uh, currently used WordPress database table prefix, which is default to uh, WP underscore. Current user ID is, of course, currently logged in user ID. So uh, let's see a brief example of using them. I guess it's nothing complicated and you will really quickly get the idea. We will use this table called city. Uh, in this table, there are cities of different countries and there are country codes and districts, etc. So we will query this table using some placeholders. Uh, to do this, we need to create a new, new data table, a new WP data table. Uh, to do this, please go to your uh, WordPress admin dashboard and there open uh, WP data tables, add from data source. Here I will say placeholders demo. We need to choose MySQL query table type because apparently it will be a MySQL query. So we will use this table, select, sorry, select everything from city and we will apply a variable placeholder to the country code. So say where country code equals to, equals to, to a placeholder and we will place the variable one placeholder here. Uh, to fetch the data from a query, we need to define some value for this variable placeholder. And for this, we use this collapsible block here. It's only visible for uh, MySQL type tables. And here you can see all the, sh the placeholders that we just mentioned. So the first one is current user ID, which will be replaced with the currently logged in user ID in the runtime. But here you can define a different value for the moment of table generation, which means that, uh, for example, uh, right now I'm logged in as admin and I have ID equal to one. But if this query wouldn't return anything for ID equal to one, you can define two or three or something. So that at the moment of table generation, the query would return some data that could be used to create a table. But we are not using this placeholder here. We are using this one. Uh, it's variable and it also explained here. So if you're, um, if you're using it, you can probably read the explanation here in, the, in this placeholder box. So here we define the default value and wherever we don't override this placeholder in a short code, uh, the default value will be applied. So let's say we want this country code, which is, I guess, Afghanistan. So uh, select everything from city where country code equals to variable one and variable one is uh, default to Afghanistan. So this should be enough to create a table since it didn't report any errors it means the table generated successfully and we got all our columns here and when we click preview we should see only the rows for cities which are from Afghanistan yeah so here are the four cities 
of Afghanistan. Can close this. So whenever we don't override this placeholder for this table, it will always use the default from here, Afghanistan. But now we can use the same WP data table to return different data. For this, we need to, uh, to do this. We need to insert it somewhere. So we can either copy the short code and paste it somewhere, or we can add a new page. Call it placeholders video demo and add a placeholder uh, based table. So here's our table with placeholders. And just click insert the WP data table button here, locate the placeholders demo. <clears throat> and now we need to redefine the variable one. So let's say variable one will be equal to uh, NLD, which is, I guess, Netherlands. We publish and then we view the page and in the front end you can see that we only have the cities from Netherlands let's add one more copy of the same table here on the same page let's say here is our table with placeholders for Netherlands and here Let's use different different country code, say DZA, and I must say I have no idea what country is that. Uh, so DZA update. And update, so uh, refresh the table once again so it's the same table the same short code inserted twice the only thing we change is the placeholder you see first table has cities for nld country code second one has dza uh, you can combine several placeholders and uh, it works both for tables with server-side processing and without server-side processing placeholders can also be used in the uh, filters as default values so if we if we open this table in the back end once again it should be the last one created and insert the placeholders as the default values for country code say variable one and save it then reload the page once again here once it's loaded you see that the value from uh, the short code for the placeholder is placed as the default value here Okay, so it does make much sense when it's only one placeholder, but when it's two, three, four, uh, it's, it might get very handy. So basically you create just one query at placeholders and then you can produce a limited number of different tables on the front end based on only one WP data table. Thanks for watching and see you next tutorials. WP Data Tables, the easiest way to render interactive editable tables on your WordPress site. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.